Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at the topic development. In the previous videos, we would have also looked at the topic development and we would have also be exposed to different um, three-dimensional methods in which you can represent different geometrical objects, right? Now, what we want to do today, we want to find out what does the development um, look like? What's the, develop what's the solution for the development for a given geometrical shape? All right. Now, the figure that we'll be looking on today is a prism. Do you know the characteristics of a prism? All right, I'm going to leave you with that question. All right. I'm not going to ask the question and answer my question. I'm going to leave that for you. All right. So again, we're looking at development and we want to know what is the correct solution because in this topic there are different um, ways in which you could um, make a development for a geometrical um, object that is presented either in isometric or one of the other um, methods that we discussed in our previous videos. So perhaps you could visit the other videos, the pictorial videos that are posted in the channel if you wish to do so. All right, so we're going to proceed with today's video. Today's video, we're looking at development. We'll be explaining the concepts of development. Now, in the previous video, we looked at the isometric projection, right? And the isometric projection, as you know, is a three-dimensional drawing. So let us get started. So what we have in development, we have different geometrical shapes, yes? All right, so here on the screen, we have the prism, okay? And what we want is to find out is what does the development look like? Now, there are different ways in which development can, can, can be. The solution can be different solutions, right? So in today's video, I'm going to show you one possible solution. Okay, now we have the prism. It's represented in what projection? I did some uh, videos on pictorial um, projections or pictorial drawings. Which uh, method of project projection is this prism represented in? I'm going to give you about three seconds to answer and then you can come back. Three, two, one. This prism is drawn in isometric projection. And how do I know it's isometric projection? How can I convince you that it is that it is an uh, that it is an isometric drawing? How can I convince you? Why why isn't it a perspective drawing or an oblique drawing? Or right, let me show you why. If you visited the videos, I did some videos. I did a one-point perspective video. I did a two-point perspective video. I did an oblique drawing um, video. And I did an isometric video. Now, if you visit the videos, you will see that the isometric projection, the angle for the, for the baseline, what, what should be the angle for the receding lines? Can you guess? I'm going to give you two seconds to answer. One, two. The angle here should be 30 degrees. Here's the 30 degrees here. All right, let me measure the other, other angle for you. So here it is, there, there. See? So the angle there is 30 degrees. So this prism in today's video is drawn in. Now, the object was given in isometric projection and what you want to do want to find out what are what are the different possibilities that you could have for the development of this prism all right so let us look at uh, one of my solutions for today's video me okay all right so so here we have the prism it's um, representing a box so let us see, see the possibilities. All right. All right. So the topic we are looking on today is development. Okay. 
Right, so here now I've color coded the isometric drawing for you, right? So here we have the box, right? Here we have the yellow part would be at the back. The purple part would be the would be resting on the floor if you was to put it on the floor to stand. The red part would be the side. The other side is that is that brown. I think it's brown, and then at the top is blue. And the cover without the lid, you know, if you get a, sh a box, sometimes it has an edge, like an edge, so that it doesn't fall off. But for simplicity, we're going to pre pretend that our cover doesn't have any edges. So we just put it on. And how would we have to secure it onto the box? Can you suggest a way we'd have to secure it on the box? It might have to tape it on, but it, would look, look, it wouldn't look so pleasing, right? But just a simplicity of explaining the topic. Um, we'll leave it at that, right? So these things here, can you guess what method of projection um, these two things are drawn in? Is it perspective drawing, one point perspective? Is it? Is it two point perspective? Is it an isometric drawing or is it an oblique drawing? All right, I'm not going to answer because I gave you the answer in the first instance. You would have to look at the videos which uh, we made to familiarize yourself with it. All right. So here is a development for the box. Yes, or the prism. Here is a red set. So this is when it is flat. It's either flat on the table or flat on the floor where you would walk. All right. So it's resting. Um, it's parallel to the horizontal plane. So the floor in your house or in your classroom or in your office that would be a horizontal plane right so the the box is or the prism is folded out flat right or it's resting on the wall okay you know like if you was to look at a mirror on the wall with the mirror be parallel to the vertical wall right but in this instance we're going to pretend that it's resting flat on the floor flat on the road the road is relatively flat so it's resting flat on the road or would prefer flat um, on the floor, all right? So this side is this side folded out flat. This brown side is this side folded out flat. And the top, which is the blue part, is folded out flat. And the, the base, the box is standing in this instance. The, with the pink part will be this part, right? And then the cover, we would make the cover onto the the material that is the, the, the prism is made from, right? Now, these two things here are, you know, Cinderella shoe, but um, we're not going to call it Cinderella shoe because we are engineers and professionals, so um, we call it robot shoes, all right? So a robot is, is, is um, closely aligned to engineering rather than a Cinderella to engineering. A Cinderella would be related to maybe literature or poems or prose or English language or essay in English language. So to to make the thing more um what should they say no more yeah. suitable for our liking because we are engineers, we call it robot shoes rather than Cinderella shoe. Alright, so this will be the development, right? And then when you take the development and fold it, so this will be a two-dimensional um, shape, you know, it will be flat, right? When you fold the development, you will get the three-dimensional um, isometric drawing representing the prism, right? So the cover, I, right, what I'm going to do, I am going to, what I'm, this drawing over here, this isometric projection or this isometric drawing is not representing what is over here. So how can I fix the isometric projection so that it resembles the development over here? Can you guess? Anyone? No one? All right, we're going to, I'm going to do it and then I'll tell you what I did. All right. So this. Right? Can you guess what I what I did? Can you guess what I did? All 
All right, so what I did, I um, attached the cover to the box. You see, it resembles now, so this would be a better um, representation of what was here rather than the cover removed, okay? So, I hope that you understood the principles of development. Yes, we use the the prism to explain what the development would look like. And as I said, there are different ways in which you could um, draw the development for the prism. But for this video, this is the method that, um, that I chose to show you. Right, so this brings us to the end of today's video, right? Thanks for watching. I hope you understood the principles of development, yes? And in the next video, we'll be looking at the intersection of solids. So looking forward to seeing you in the next video and take care until we meet again.